and the aftermath of the recent killing of 17 Nigerian army personnel took a disturbing twist as the Ijo Youth Council raised alarm over an alleged invasion of Ibomoturu community in Southern Ijo Local Government Council of Bielsa State. The alarm was raised by the IYC president, Alaya Teofilos, at a briefing in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. Alaya said the community was held hostage by the soldiers in that many houses were burnt down. He questioned and rationale behind the alleged invasion, saying the community has been peaceful prior to the military invasion. Sunday 17th of March 2024, in the early hours of that same day, military gunboats walking over nine invaded the community and started shooting rapidly into the community and killing fathers, mothers, youth, and children, worth over 40 in number to death without any tangible reason for now. As we speak, properties have been destroyed Houses are being burnt down, and even some of the dead bodies are being burnt while others are being thrown into the river to flow into the Atlantic Ocean. The Nigeria military that we know is not established for short unlawful actions and activities. Sometimes we wonder why it is very, very difficult for the Nigerian military to apply the internationally established standard of the rule of engagement when it comes to our communities. The IYC president, Alai Theophilus, while displaying pictures of the bodies on the streets to newsmen, said the community is currently undergoing humanitarian crisis as the military men are preventing people from exiting and entering the community. We want to call on the Nigerian military to please act with all form of professionalism. Over time, when issues of youth, criminals in our community have some form of misunderstanding with the Nigerian military, that are working in our region, what we experience is burning down of our community, killing of innocent youth, destroying of properties worth millions and billions in form of reprisal attack is what we have been observing as people in the Niger Delta. Sometimes this their act makes us so ask if at all that is the rule of engagement that they apply in other regions of this country. Peaceful coexistence, creating business-friendly environments that will bring job opportunities is our priority. And that is why at every given point in time, we have been at the forefront to see that there is peace and tranquility in the Niger Delta. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.